Hey, Coach Kyle here, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. Check back at old videos, there's a ton of them. Today, I want to uh, address a question that I answer on Reddit, and the question was, this person posted, if you had $300 to spend on a GPS watch, what would you buy? And my, my reply was, I would buy a $100 GPS watch, and I would spend $200 on stuff that actually improves your fitness. And they asked, of course, they asked, well, like what? And my answer was, I, things you could do for 200 bucks that actually improve your fitness would be getting a nutritionist and maybe losing some weight or going to the local gym and having them, or a PT or somebody, having them assess your strength and prescribe you a customized weightlifting program or you could get a general weightlifting program for free online and spend that money on some weights some uh, resistance bands etc you could spend you could get a lot of good perfect post-workout recovery shakes for two hundred dollars and those will actually like literally increase your fitness abilities because you're recovering and you're adapting better um, you know, getting dumbbells, getting getting a, a, a custom strengthening program will literally make you stronger, make you more injury resilient. Getting a nutritionist and losing 10, 15 pounds if you need to will physically, literally make you a faster runner. Um, getting a GPS watch will not. A $100 GPS watch will tell you tell you, you ran six miles at a nine minute pace. A $300 GPS watch will tell you you ran six miles at a nine minute pace. Um, the $300 one will tell you that your vertical oscillation was this amount and your ground contact time was this many milliseconds. Does that matter? Uh, for 99% of the people, it's interesting, but it doesn't actually matter. This is a stopwatch. You can get stopwatches for $5 and this is all you need for 80% of your running. Um, most of your running should be at an easy conversational pace. Uh, if like any, you can use this, you can go run 60, 60 minutes easy. Um, go run seven miles easy. If you need something to control your easy pace, uh, take your 5K time, multiply it by 1.2 to 1.4, and that's your easy pace. Uh, any GPS will tell you that. You don't even need a GPS. Uh, buy a $20 running belt and use your smartphone that you already have. That's gonna tell you all the information you need. Um, uh, <laughs> if money is no concern, go get the $300 GPS. Uh, if you're on a slightly limited income or spending limit, use your phone, get a cheap GPS, get a used GPS. They're all pretty much the same when you get to that, that $100 range, they tell you time, duration, you know, your pace, etc. They're, they're telling you heart rate now at that low, uh, that low price range. So that's all you need. You don't need all this fancy stuff. You don't need a, you don't need a 13 hour battery life. You don't need it to track your steps throughout the day. You don't need it to tell you your text messages. Um, if you want that stuff, great, get it. But if you want to literally improve your fitness, literally improve how fast you can run, there are better things to buy than a GPS. So you keep running, I'll keep coaching, and we'll talk later.